Hello, Vinyl Community. This is Josh, Pacific Northwest, North Seattle, coming at you February 13th. Sometime in the morning. Hope you're all doing well. Haven't posted in a while. Just don't know why. Haven't felt like it. Haven't had time. Well, I felt like it, but just haven't had time. And when the time has presented itself, I'm just tired, busy doing other things. But anyway, got some great reggae Jamaican recordings in the last month that I can share with you. All of them, except one, were purchased online, eBay, Discogs. First one I'm going to show is a Heptones record, Party Time. The Heptones, Party Time on Island. This is a UK pressing, original UK pressing from... 1976. Get a look at that. Produced by the man himself, Lee Perry. Been looking for this for a while. Finally, glad to have it. It's not really a grail, but um, it's one Lee Perry production I've been work- looking for for some time. The other is a nice copy of, uh, original copy of Junior Mervyn's Police and Thieves. Haven't found an affordable copy of that. I got this for about 10 bucks, 10 50 on eBay. Major score. The next two are reissues. Um, this is a Wacky's record, African Roots, Act 1. reissued in Germany on the basic channel basicchannel.com wackies it's a repress um, done um, blanking on who did the mastering on this Uh, DNM which is uh, Moritz von Oswald, I believe. And he does pressings out of Germany. I can't remember the name of the pressing plant. DNM. Never mind. Anyway, what's important is the record itself, and it's amazing. It's a reissue. Um, this one. Nature's Dub by the Bull Wacky All Stars goes for super crazy amounts of money, hundreds of dollars. If you can find an original. These are both basic channel reissues. Excellent sounding. Highly recommended. If you find any Wacky's records, pick them up. I like. Uh, Dance Hall Style by Hor- Horace Andy is good. That's another title I recommend. Um, but anything on the Wacky's label is just amazing. Just great. Late 70s, early 80s, Roots, Dub. Just quality stuff. Burning Spear. It's American pressing of... Uh, Man in the Hills, Sorry. On Island Records from 76. Good Roots Reggae. Happy to pick this one up. Not my favorite style of reggae, but it's Burning Spear. So, gotta pick it up. Price is right. Eight bucks, I think, for that. Winston Kiwi Johnson. Bass Culture. This one has England is a bitch. Great American pressing on Mango, subsidiary of uh, Island. Forces of Victory by Linton Kiwi Johnson, also on Mango Records.
classic. I think both of these records were produced by Dennis Bovell, famous Jamaican slash British reggae producer and arranger, who also produced the Slits first record. If you're interested, care to know. Anyway, uh, second to last one, Lone Ranger. Bada da dim. Lone Ranger is a Jamaican DJ. Great cover art, by the way. I think that's Mr. Lone Ranger him. And I'm not sure who's at the controls here. Um, maybe Cox and Dog. Mixed by Cox and Dog, yeah. And engineered by Mr. Dog himself. This is on Studio One. This is an original Studio One pressing out of Jamaica. The label's kind of messed up there. Kind of comes off the vinyl. I don't know if you can see that. The glare. Yeah, Studio One. Sounds really good for a Jamaican pressing, by the way. Ranger on Studio One. Kind of funky, funky record. Bit of his insane ramblings over tracks done by uh, Willie Williams. There's a version of a Armageddon time called World War One. Fish Tea is great. It's a great song. Got a drink of fish tea. Last but not least, original Bunny Weiler record called Protest on the UK island. I think this is a, no, I think this is a second pressing. It's got the Blue Island label from uh, 1977. Well, um, that's all I have to show for now. I also got a 45, an Augustus Pablo 45 on the Santic label, but that's in the other room right now. And I don't feel like going and getting it, but if you saw my post on Facebook, I posted a picture of A side and the B side. Um, always on the lookout for original Jamaican 45s, but they are are and go for crazy amounts of money, so. stand on that but um, if I can afford it I'll get it anyway hope you all are doing well 2014 has been pretty all right so far and um, 